So finally, Nusantara OS based on Android 12 is here. The Nusantara version 4.2 official version, which we have installed on Redmi Note 8. I'm just going to talk about the first impressions, the changes and UI things about this way. I'm not going to talk about the device specific things there. The device specific review is also coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. But first of all, we're just going to talk about the first look at first impressions about Nusantara OS based on Android version 12. You can see the UI is different here, completely different compared to the other custom homes based on android 12 at least for now and in the terms of customization sections as you can see first of all we have a very different kind of quick settings panel which is not by default you can customize this brightness slider this quick quick settings brightness slider which is not available by default but you can enable or disable this including that if you want to enable any kind of tile from here you know you don't need to drag and drop you simply to click it will automatically add it to the main quick settings panel that looks good including that you also can see the wi-fi mobile data separate tiles are available for you so this is also quite good basically all the useful features all the useful things which you need everything is here for you everything is present for you i think so it's good enough i think so it's quite good by the way it's not officially available for other devices maybe more devices yet but some devices are supported right now the launcher finally it's not pixel launcher yes a lot of customers having pixel launcher but it has the quick step launcher which of course has some basic customizations but not major ones but yes you can simply hope for other customizations very soon the ui related changes you can see these two simple tiles there and everything else is just different kind of things compared to the other android 12 based customers very different themed icons and a lot more things the about phone is in the wings at top and other at bottom and at middle you have a two basic tiles wi-fi mobile data and something like battery indicators it also includes the monitor theming which was expected it's there you can see monitor theming is working perfectly fine themed icons is also working so yes everything whatever you want is already present i think so you will definitely love this i think so but it's all about user's own opinion let's moving on to some customizations or if you want to check out some customizations here is if they have added something or not Nusantara wings you can see lock screen status bar themes and this hardware related thing is already present as expectedly but if it includes some customizations it includes some Nusantara wings interface with without never like this let me open this once like this you can customize this which is of course a basic customization is kind of no use for a daily use but yes this is what it is other options or other customizations includes let me show you once again let these are the things you get here after customizations let me show you some more things here for example if i move to power menu etc nothing is included navigation also does not have any extra things buttons also have does not extra things so all the things are quite simple and empty but here the battery has some customizations for you you have the two new battery styles icon landscape l and icon landscape r which means left or right whatever you want to use you have some options here for you carry label is not there you can also customize the network traffic indicators which means you can enable this option as you can see we have the network speed indicator already at the top and including that some basic customizations are here for you if you want to give it a try link is in the description this is all from for the first impressions of nusantara os android 12 i'll see the next video goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air